In this tutorial, we'll look at how to remove an object from a scene and place a new scene behind that object. I've got a clip of this student smiling at the camera. This time, we'll remove the background entirely and transport him into a different scene. Create a shape and then draw the mask. Great, now we'll track it. Again, we've got a solid yellow line here, which means Smart Object Tracking has successfully tracked our mask all the way through the clip. So let's keyframe the matte opacity to drop to zero. This just makes the matte black, but it's actually transparent. So if I drop this beach clip onto the track below, and then skip to after the keyframe opacity has dropped to zero, we can see the beach scene underneath our subject. There's a problem though. The edge of the mask needs to be feathered. Let's go for about three with detect edge turned off. It's looking okay, but it's still not a totally clean mask. One of the problems is that the original clip was shot with a shallow depth of field, so his face is in focus, but the sides of his head are slightly out of focus, which we're actually exaggerating even further with the feathering which is blurring the edge of his head and his shoulders. And in the original clip, the background was even more out of focus, but our beach scene is sharp and in focus. So how about we blur the beach clip a little? We'll jump into the editor, go to Effect and Camera, and grab the blur effect. I'll change it to about six in both directions. And that actually looks a lot better. Let's have a look. The mask still isn't completely accurate in places, so it depends on what we're going for. This ear gets a little fuzzy at times, and on the other side of his head, there seems to be too much masked here, so we get a slight halo effect but otherwise the mask is pretty good. If what I was creating was just a low quality, quick but fun meme or gif that I'm creating, it probably doesn't matter too much that the mask isn't super accurate. For example, if I wanted to add some fun text to this project with a title in between the two clips, I can do that pretty easily. But just to save time, here's a title I already created for this clip combo. If we wanted to make the mask even more perfect, then we'll need to be editing imperfections on a frame by frame basis. Basically, just find the bad frame, then click Modify or Replace, and just use a combination of the eraser and the paintbrush. And then just adapt the mask to be as close as you can get it. I found that if you want super accuracy for this kind of background replacement work, then it's often better to have Smart Edge turned off at this point. Once you're done, have a look at the timeline. That halo looks much better there. And then you can repeat for each frame that needs attention. For more creative applications and compositing tips with tracked masks, please see our other smart object tracking tutorials. Happy editing.